Secondary School as we get set for the opening tip-off with BTV Academy and Athlete Institute. And we just went through the uh, opening ceremonies. The officials for this matchup, Mauro Sardoni and Vince Pelleggi. We only go with the best here on Rogers Tire TV. And there's a good look at Mar Mar Mauro Sardoni, and uh, he's been around for such a long time, Gary. Absolutely, Dana. These are veteran refs that have been refing games for decades in this city. As we get uh, set for the opening tip-off and just looking at the uh, lineup, Thon Maker taking the opening tip-off right there. Maker number 14 in the lineup. Athlete Academy, Athlete Institute in the red here in what has been known as the old Bathurst High Secondary School. Very storied pass in this building, Dana. Thon just up and above everybody, Dana. Grab that rebound as if no one else was there. Shots from the free throw line, and here comes BTB Academy. This is number three, Ahmed Ali, who scored 103 points in a 111-76 win, and they're going to jack it up right off the bat, Gary. Really good screen and roll there, Dana. Uh, like I said, uh, we have a co very, very competitive game ahead here. Don't let the si difference in size fool you. These guys are fighters. Shot from outside. That was a three-point attempt. Quinton Gray, a 6'3 shooting guard from previous experience with Grassroots Canada. Ali with the pass. That's a jumper from the elbow. Dean Andrade, the 6'3 forward. Nice shot there. Beautiful rotation on his shot. Love how they're moving the ball around. Looking to drive to the bucket. That was Nick, Nick Togo. Beautiful dish for Thon, who hammers it home. Cordell Vieira, uh, Dana, very good player, like we said earlier. Right on cue, hitting the three from the corner. Here's Athletes Institute in their offensive set. Looking to move the ball, Quinton Gray, the ball was picked off. And it goes out of bounds, Liban Muhammad and uh, Gary, you're looking at Muhammad who had 17 against Hill Academy in an 86-76 loss at the Pinky Lewis Invitational. Very good player, Dana. Uh, like I said, just really impressed with these kids, the way they play defense, the way they compete, uh, doing a great job for their coach here, representing their school to the fullest. Coach Adil, a two and three record with BTB Prep, uh, better known as bigger than basketball. And that's what they've uh, termed it for uh, this season. Uh, playing in the schedule, Ontario Scholastic Basketball Association. I love the name, Dana. We all know that it's about more than basketball. Beyond basketball, is a, uh, bigger than basketball is a great name. You thought Maker, the seven foot center. And the shot from outside is good. 8-5 in favor of uh, BTP. Good looking stroke there from Nicola Jogo. Cordell Vieira. Inside, Luban Muhammad, Andrade. This is Ali from outside. Rare 23 miss. shots from beyond the arc, 48 in the first half when they played against Westview. He's got offers from uh, AAA and uh, Kilgore College in the States, uh, Gary. Yes, I'm very familiar with Kilgore College. I attended Kilgore for a year, way down in the bottom of Texas near Shreveport. Two teams played back in November. 
Athlete Institute coming out on top, going up for the jam. That was Joshua White on the play. He tried to go showtime there, but uh, a little bit flat on the takeoff. Athlete Institute's Dante Mitchell comes back. Mitchell, a 6'3 guard. Ball looked to be going out of bounds. BTB responds, and that goes off the glass of an Ali on the play. Just love how BTB is just sharing the ball here, Dana. Very unselfish, very unselfish team. They're doing what it takes right here. If they're going to have a chance, they've got to share the ball. That was in the paint. The pass was to Jesse Barnes. Another 6'6 forward uh, in the lineup for Athlete Institute, coached by Brandon Lasovsky, who brings a wealth of experience from Kansas. Both, co both coaches, Dana, these, both these teams are very well coached. Uh, both community guys that are got their kids playing a high level of basketball. They are, they're competing night in, night out. 10-7 favor of BTB. They're off to a quick start. Seven teams in this league. Among them, Henry Carr from Toronto, alongside uh, Bill Crothers. The Hill Academy from uh, Hamilton. Father Henry Carr and uh, St. John's Kilmarnock, uh, which is out in the Kitchener region. So yes. certainly uh, very strong talent. And this is what it's all about to uh, prepare athletes uh, to play in the uh, scholarship or in, at uh, CIS level. Yes, well, you know, Dana, for the elite athletes, uh, I, I like the prep thing. Some say it kills uh, high school basketball. But uh, I do believe it also helps to prepare them for college. It's the travel that's involved and the balance between sports and um, academics is, is, is very important. And so uh, I, I do like the element that it brings as well. Looking for the cutter, and that's exactly the case as Tyrell Lintuel is able to put it up off the glass. He's a 6'5 guard out of Ajax, Gary. Very good looking player. Here's Ali with a crossover, looking to drive to the bucket, and he was pinned against the boards. Boy, was he ever pinned. Thawing all over that one. The drive by Quinton Gray, it's picked off. Inside, here's Baker with the ball. He's looking to drive, and he fouled on the play. The seven-foot center who comes from Sydney, Australia, via Virginia, here to the Toronto area. Let's take a look at the replay. Dana, you're looking at a supreme talent right there. The man's got length, he moves well, he's really good offensively, can shoot inside out. He's a complete package. Ain't no thing like a chicken wing, the way he was able to go up against a glass like that. 13-9 in favor of BTB as they go to the bench on a timeout. Your thoughts on this uh, opening minute of play? Well, Dana, we expected a dogfight here today. Uh, BTB has a home advantage, but uh, Athlete Institute is playing like they're home. Certainly a very lengthy schedule for uh, both teams and uh, Athlete Institute traveling both here in Canada as well as in the States and uh, certainly uh, putting up the numbers. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, like I said, the team is good top to bottom um, and, and they compete. So as long as they play defense and share the ball, the sky's the limit for that team. Now we're talking about Bathurst Heights uh, Secondary School, now known as John Polanyi High School, renamed. And uh, certainly as we uh, talk about these high schools, we'll refer to the website, rogerstv.com tor slash Toronto Dub Request, if you're looking for a copy of the tape. And uh, also to uh, Ontario Scholastic Basketball Association, go to ontariosba.com for all more information on uh, this particular league, this prep school league. And we uh, refer to uh, this as the Bathurst High Secondary School because it was made famous many years ago, back in the 80s, and uh, by uh, Bob Mato, the head coach, and the star player of the time, and the mayor, unofficial mayor of this Lawrence Heights area, Phil Dixon. Phil Dixon, yeah, absolutely. Before Phil, there were many other great players, uh, you know, such as um, Jim. Uh, <laughs> you know, there, there are a lot of... A lot of good players that came out of here. Alex Beast and all these other guys. Uh, as a young man, they call Smiley, who uh, was a hell of a player here. Uh, they've had wonderful players at this school here. Bob's been a great coach. Uh, uh, just a complete fit, right per person for the right place. Yeah, looking at all the star players who played in this lineup back from that era, and uh, Eric James and uh, Stanley Mitchell, Bobby Brown. Sean Green. 
John late, Green as great well. John Green, yep. Wayne Smith. And don't forget Steve Morrison. Yes. Junior uh, Brown. Oh, yeah. The, the phenomenal talent. And uh, Mike Shepard. Mike Shepard play here. Uh, interesting story in himself coming from uh, Upper New York State to come here to play. Ali with the shot from outside. He has the uh, fans all up in the air. Cordell Vieira off the glass. Liban Muhammad playing above the rim. He would look to jam that way. Here comes AI on the transition. Shot from outside. Jogo is able to hit it. He's an interesting story. You got Gary, 6 7 forward, committed to Notre Dame. He had offers from Butler, UNLV, and Tennessee. Originally from Salt Lake Secondary School, played with the Canadian uh, cadet team in 2014. Very good player, Dana. Uh, good looking player as well. Great length and a beautiful touch. Here's Vieira. Outside, here's Mahama with the shot. Off the rim. They're able to pick it off. Again, setting up outside. And it's picked off again. Off the backboard, and they set that one up so well as Jogo follows up with a two-handed flush. A little showtime there. I just love how these kids are so willing to share the ball out here, Dana. Beautiful play. Ethan Scott set him up. 6'3 guard at St. George's College in Vancouver. Also played with IMG Academy in Florida. Thon with a big rebound there and try to push it. 335 left here in the first quarter of play. 16-13 as Athlete Institute have taken the lead and watch this. Very unselfish play right there. You can tell these kids love playing together, love playing with each other. Gary, we've got uh, some outstanding players playing in this game and uh, certainly a snapshot of where Toronto High School basketball is right now. Among the best in the world. Hottest market in the world. Yes, Dana. Uh, every college coach has Toronto on their, on their schedule. This is somewhere that you've definitely got to stop. And nowadays, we're seeing more players from Toronto on every roster. Uh, nice move by Quinton Gray on the play. The shot from outside by Dante Mitchell. Here comes BTP on the return off the glass. Looking at Levi Smith, the third, a 5 8 point guard. Good vision and passing ability, Gary. Oh, yeah. Good look. Very good look. But I got to tell you, man, uh, BTB is not going away. This team right here, I love how they compete. Very feisty team. Daycal Brooks in the lineup, a 6 2 guard. Play with the Northern Kings under 16 team. Shot from outside by Brooks. And the return. Levi Smith, the third, creating some action out there on the floor right now. Well attended basketball game, the gymnasium is completely full. Shot from outside, did not happen. Yeah, Dana, there's a lot of enthusiasm for this game in this area. BTP with very much a, a lot of uh, synergy when it comes to uh, running their offensive set. Ethan Scott, he was stripped on the play. Look out! <laughs> Libby Mohammed. <laughs> Beautiful jab there. Beautiful jab. Uh, just the unselfishness right there. He had to steal and looked up right away, found his teammate ahead of him. You always want to encourage kids to look up and play, pass to the players that are in front of you. Pass to your teammates. That was Maker returning, and uh, he was able to put it up off the glass. Thom Maker with offers from Arizona State, Florida State, Kentucky, Notre Dame, St. John's, Oklahoma State, Indiana, UNLV. I mean, this guy's uh, got the entire NCAA looking for him and his brother. Oh, for sure. I'm sure there isn't a school uh, in Division I basketball and beyond that, that wouldn't want to have him on their team. Indiana's look for a package. Look out! <laughs> Thom Maker on a two-handed <laughs> jam. It's set up quite well by Ethan Scott. Oh, yeah. The, the, the rim's too low for Thon. <laughs> wow. Yep. The, 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 uh, the, the rim's too low for him. And I got to tell you, his teammates are really looking for him. Number 10 is a very special player. I like what he does for them as a point guard. Outstanding He's performance. Let's watch this again, Kerry. Oh, yes. Ethan Scott doing his thing out there. 
Watch out for this guy. Very good player. Thom Baker jamming it downtown. And he goes over to the bench. Now, his brother is sitting on the bench, and both him and his brother have been offered a package deal to go to University of Indiana. Should be interesting to see what uh, kind of commitment is going to be made. Here's Jogo. Scott, back to Jogo. They're going to bring it back outside. He played that one very smart. Oh, yes. The follow-up. Now Jesse Barnes is able to drop that one in the cylinder. That's right, Jesse Barnes hitting the boards, the cleanup man. Barnes, whose previous team, uh, Queen Elizabeth Saints. Ahmed Ali with the jumper did not drop. He's been having a difficult time here in the first quarter. Yeah, it's, I'm sure it's only a matter of time till he heats up, Dana. That boy can shoot the ball, so. So far, it just seems to be a little bit off. Pretty impressed with Ethan Scott. He's got very good peripheral vision, can see any player on the floor. Yeah, he's been doing a really good job of getting his teammates involved. Uh, good size for a guard and uh, very unselfish. Really good floor general. 21 seconds left here in the first quarter of play. AI leading by five outside. Here's Maker at the top. Unfamiliar territory. Ethan Scott, BTP running uh, three men at the top, two down low, put it down low post. Barnes, fearless going to the glass, and there's the putback, and they are able to get the bucket with no seconds left your here boy, in the first quarter of play. Your boy Ethan Scott showing he can mix it up with the big boys inside also. Pretty Great impressive. rebound put back there. Pretty impressed with him, Gary. Uh, your thoughts of him running the point? Hey, big guard. Uh, very unselfish, tough as nails, playing great defense and getting people involved. Real floor general. Reminds me of my boy uh, Antwi Atuhini. Same kind of guard. Big, can score, yet gets people involved. Take a look at this again as we've got a highlight package of some of the action from the first quarter of play. And uh, I think Ahmed Ali is looking two ways for Sunday after that play where he got pinned against the board by Thought Maker. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look at this one uh, off the glass as well. Cordell Vieira, who had 31 against AI in a 110-98 loss back in November. He's a 6'3 swingman, Gary, but he doesn't look 6'3 out there when you look at all the size that's out on the floor. Well, everybody looks small next to Thon. When Thon's in the building, everybody else looks short. Him and his brother, McCare, you know, right up there at 7 feet and 6'11, I believe. But uh, no, he's got great size for, for a guard. Like I said, I think his true position is a point guard. Looking at uh, Vieira at averaging 17 points per game, seven rebounds, five assists for VTP under 16 team. Previous experience playing in uh, the Rexdale area at West Humber. Yes. Uh, you know, he's always been an interesting prospect. Uh, like I said, good size, great handle, high basketball IQ. Um, great to see him having some success here at VTP Prep. Good look as the two teams come out on the floor for next 10 minutes of action. Playing FIBA rules, so it'll be four 10-minute quarters. Here we go for second half. Second quarter, pardon me. We're gonna set this one up. Outside, Dekel Brooks with the shot, did not drop. Brooks is 0 for 2 from the field. Here's Maker, he's showing that he can dribble, too. Oh, yeah. Very versatile player. Not only can he dribble, he can pop it from upstairs. That one air ball. Ethan Scott, three-point attempt off the rim. And BTP Academy come flying back. Both consecutive misses, Dana, but pretty good shots. You're left open. You've got to keep the defense honest. Jogo on the turnaround, and he's able to hit the jumper. Boy, I tell you, Jogo looking really good out here, man. I love his versatility for a kid his height. Very versatile guard swing man. 26-17 AI. Opening minutes here of the second quarter of play. Dana McKeel, Gary Durant, and a hardworking production crew here at John Polanyi High School in Toronto. Following up on the play, Jogo sets up Ethan Scott. They fill the lane so well. Oh, yeah, well. those two, I, I tell you, you got two big guards there. One six three and a one six seven in front of your defense there, just really stealing the ball and being so unselfish is beautiful to see. Both guys very eager to give it up to each other. 
Beautiful. Coach Adil does not want to see this thing get out of hand, so he's called a timeout. And lots of uh, basketball personalities uh, here in the gymnasium today to watch this matchup between these two squads, Gary. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is one of the meccas of basketball. I think in North York, this place used to be the mecca of oh, basketball. No, no question. It's, it's what Jarvis was to uh, Toronto, yep. the old Jarvis Collegiate. So it's just great to be back here. Shrine of High School Basketball. Let's go to the uh, websites. And uh, again, uh, rogerstv.com slash Toronto Dub Request. And also to Ontario Scholastic Basketball Association, go to ontariosba.com. And it's a wealth of information. Gives you the uh, up-to-date standings. Gary, and I'm just looking at these standings right now. Orangeville uh -huh. Prep at 6-0. Athlete Institute, 6-1. Hill Academy fellows up in third place at 4-3. And, and BTB Prep at 2-3. Other schools uh, in the standings, Father Henry Carr, Bill Crothers, and St. John's Kilmar Knock. Interesting uh, latest result, Orangeville beat Bill Crothers 78-76. Ignis Brasdikas hits the game winner for Orangeville Prep to stay undefeated. Yeah, that's, that's incredible that they've been able to stay undefeated, uh, Dana. There are a lot of very good teams uh, in this league. Very strong competition as BTB will inbound the ball. Set up and Athlete Institute goes into a man defense half court. Shot on the turnaround, Joshua White. Great execution that time. Lee Ben Muhammad causing a turnover. Stripping the ball away is Quinton Gray and they get it back. Thom Maker not able to hold on to it. And we've got a foul on the play, and that's against Ahmed Ali. <laughs> and you hear the crowd booing. They love themselves some Ali around here, man. He, he really has this crowd. He can do no wrong. It's a very smart foul, though, I tell you. Had he not fouled Thon there, we would see some showtime. So, good foul. The fans are getting into it. Uh, a little more inspirational here in this uh, second quarter of play. Here's Maker. Off the glass. He's got a great touch for a big fella. Thom Maker, who played at the Nike Hoop Summit in Portland, Oregon, as well as the Bias Steel Classic last year at the Mattamy Center here in downtown Toronto. Here's Ali. And the pass to John Jonathan goes off his hands. Turnover for BTB, and that's just not what Coach Adil no, wants to see. No, Dana, for BTB to have a chance here, Ali's going to have to start contributing and uh, have a great day offensively. So. I like what they're doing here now, though, Dana. They're stepping it up defensively, putting a little bit more pressure, denying the ball, and forcing uh, Athlete Institute to take their shots from a little bit further. Here's Barnes with the ball. Jogo looking to drive to the hoop. Puts it up off the glass, or off the rim. Jogo doing exactly what you got to do against defense, which is that aggressive. You've got to go by them. You've got to catch it and sweep. And, you know, if they're coming out so high, they're out of position, usually. So. That one goes off the rim. And he's fouled on the play. He'll go to the line with 7.39 left here in the second quarter of play. 30 to 19 in favor of Athlete Institute. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago the game was 15-16 uh, Athlete Institute, so they're beginning to open up here a little bit. Juggle at the line, second of two. That's all twine as they get back into defensive set, and they're going with pressure on the ball, full court, Gary. Oh, yeah. Really, uh, defensively, things have really began to pick up. Both teams extending their defense. A lot of action around the BTB bench here right now. Players coming and going. Uh, more traffic here than there is at Union Station. I got to tell you, man, Dana, a lot of enthusiasm there. Just great to see basketball back here at the old Bathurst Heights. Everybody is excited. And this is a neighborhood that loves this game. Sets it up so well. Two passes to get it down the floor. That was Lintuel, a 6'5 guard out of Jay Clark Richardson High School. Played on the 2014 Canadian National Cadet Team, and here's Jogo. Setting this one up so well, and Maker following up on the play. Puts it up off the glass. That's Tenacity Plus. Oh, yes. 36-19. Tenacity, tenacity plus size and ability equals success. That drive by Joshua White. There's a foul on the play. 
Well, Here's Vince Pelegi with the call. Oh, yeah. Thon being very aggressive defensively. You love to see that. A great offensive player who is not just looking to score buckets, but also looking to dominate the game defensively as well. Very good to see. Here's John Jonathan at the line. Hits the first of two. A lot of territory to make up here in the first half. Yeah, down 16. Uh, it, it can be done. Like I said, if Ali gets going here, I'm sure, especially with some of those uh, three pointers he's famous for, um, this thing can turn around in, in no time, Dana. A lot of pressure on the ball. They go four court on defense. John Jonathan to Ali. Jonathan. And he turned the ball over. Yes, yeah, so Here's Jogo with the ball. They're being a little bit too unselfish, Dana. Uh, Maker. Athlete Institute uh, not afraid to pass the ball, Gary. Yeah, they're, they're just truly, you can tell these kids love playing with one another, and they share the rock, and it doesn't get any either. Mr. Scott, who's the most unselfish in the gym, is coming back in. Look at uh, Maker. If he could jam that one, he would have licked his chops. Oh, yes. <laughs> Here's Jogo again. BTP and a man. Defense half court. Traveling violation on the play. You can see that one coming. You know, Dana, there's no lack of effort uh, from BTB. They just maybe need to slow it down a little bit. Uh, they're, they're rushing the game a little bit too too much. It just, appears to be the case. Oh, yeah, a little, yeah. Bit, a little bit more uh, execution. I think they're right in it. They've seen a lot of turnovers uh, here in the first half. I think the length of Athlete Institute is beginning to bother them. BTB has a lot of little guards, and uh, the length is, is really hard to handle. A lot of substitution coming in for uh, AI. Checking back into the game is Dante Mitchell. Nice setup, but uh, just couldn't come to fruition on the play. Quentin Gray on that nice pass. Looking to jam it, They're going hard. Wow. <laughs> Great take to the basket. Everything but the finish. Really high, high paced game here, Dana. Four on a break, and Ali's going to take it up off the glass. He plays that one safely. Oh, yes. Uh, it's about getting that basket. The jam is nice and everything, but if you miss, you cost your team. On the put back. Thumb maker. Look. Thon, Thon is head over heels above everybody else, but they've got to put a body on him and box him out. They cannot allow him to just keep camp out in front of the basket. He'll win that battle every time if, if there isn't a body on him. That one goes out of bounds. AI is going to take over possession of the ball. 38-23 in favor of the team in red with 5.07 left here in the half. And the crowd just continues to trickle in here, Dana. Very great crowd here. we got a full house for this. Outstanding matchup between these two squads. Everybody on the streets in Toronto are talking about this big matchup. Maker on the turnaround. He gets a lucky bounce off the glass. That's going to drop for two. Just a really excellent touch, Dana. He can score from anywhere, man. Ali forces the shot to draw the foul. That's a two-shot foul as he's going to go to the line. Shout out to uh, Toronto Police. Just an excellent presence here tonight. Yeah, we've got uh, Toronto's finest uh, all around the gymnasium. And they've always been very supportive of uh, Toronto basketball, that's for sure. Oh, yes. I remember playing many a games against uh, the police team. And, you know, they come out and they've got some guys that can really play. Well, they uh, used to be uh, made up of uh, all former star players, including Rob Samuels, Mike Forrestal. And uh, Bobby uh, Adore, oh, yes. among many others who uh, played in the lineup. Oh, yes. Rob's a personal friend and uh, uh, as good in basketball as anybody. Uh, just a lifetime part of uh, the tradition here in Toronto. Played for a national team and all that. Outside, the shot. Gray not able to hit. He's been uh, very good as a setup man. Ethan Scott was the shot from the pocket. Great, yep. uh, great tandem back there uh, between Quinton Gray and Ethan Scott. Oh, yes. But again, their size, man, they, all their guards, all their guards are 6'3 are, are and over, and they can handle the ball, they can rebound. 
and really get in there and cause some problems. Here's Ali with the ball. Going to jack up a three, did not make it. The putback didn't follow through. Maker comes down with the defensive rebound. Ethan Scott off the glass, set up so well at Gary. It takes two passes to get it down the floor all the time. For oh, yeah, AI. These, these guys are not trying to dribble the ball, the air out of the ball. They're looking up. Every time they get it, they're looking up for their teammate. And they're always looking for, uh, for they, if they have a good shot, they're looking for a great shot. LeBay Muhammad with a great shot. That was a three. 42-29. Here's Ethan Scott. Very good touch there from the corner and a much needed basket by Mr. Muhammad. Quentin Gray turned the ball over. Here's Ali. Mm. Just not Ali's day today so far, Dana, but he, you know, just so nifty, so smart, uses his body very well, defensively always in the right place. But I really think the length of the uh, Athlete Institute uh, guards are, are, are creating a little bit of problem. Lintwell was able to uh, have some influence on that play. But uh, Ali just not making it happen here today. Right. He's uh, had the opportunities. Yeah, he's had some good looks. But, you know, Dana, there's some days that it's just not your day. Here's BTP on the inbound. Almost thrown away on the drive, and there's the bucket for BTP. Mm -hmm. They bring it within 11. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not going away, Dana. This is something I love about this team. They, they compete, man, and they're very, very... Uh, competitive. And Maker looking to drive to the bucket, but uh, a BTP player was hit in the face. Just the tenacity. And that's what we're talking about, putting a body on Thon and making him react. You've got to put a body on him every single time. And a foul on Maker. Here's Vieira with the ball. Jumper from outside. That was a three-point attempt. Yep, BTP's like, got the possession. I like that better, just the execution. They're beginning to take better care of the ball. There we go. That's exactly what they got to do, Dana. They've got to penetrate, engage the defense, and then pitch for wide open shots. Here's AI. Looking to put it inside. It was thrown away. It was intended for Maker. Jungle hasn't turned over the ball too much. Uh, there we go. There we go. Another shot. That was a three put up right by on, Muhammad, and he's hot. Right on cue, Dana. That's exactly what they've got to do. They've got to penetrate, get in there, engage that defense, and look for their open shooters. They've got kids who can really shoot the ball, but not with the defender in their face. So they've got to get in there, man, and penetrate and pitch it out. 42-37 in favor of Athlete Institute as we have another look at the Muhammad three. Mr. Muhammad feeling it. Gary, your thoughts on uh, Lebea Muhammad? Because uh, he, he was uh, an MVP at the Pinky Lewis tournament alongside Justin Jackson, who played with Hill Academy. The two teams met up in the finals of the Pinky Lewis. Well, you know, he, he might look like a very slim player. He is not fully developed yet, but I got to tell you, he's got a huge heart, and the kid can really shoot the ball. He's got good length. Uh, he's quite athletic, plays good defense. I expect big things out of him. Very good touch. Confident shooter. Let's uh, take a look at this again, Gary, as uh, we've got a uh, highlight package showing some of the uh, plays of the first half. Well, well Thon really was the story so far of, of, of the first half with his length. He, he, you know, there's no one on the other team that can guard him defensively, offensively. He's definitely the impactive guy here tonight. However, the entire Athlete Institute team, they're so good, they're so capable. And uh, for me, Scott has been the difference in the game. Totally, far. totally agree that mm -hmm. uh, Ethan Scott has been the distributor and the uh, certainly the guy that's balanced out the lineup for uh, AI. When you when you have a lineup that that is so good, you need a guy that's will that's willing to distribute and willing to make other people better. And I, he's done that. I got to tell you, I haven't seen a one-three-one in quite a while, son. That's what BTB is running right now, defensively, as a one-three-one. I like it for them, Dana. They're quicker, and what they lack in size, they've got to make up for with quickness. Chogo had to shoot the ball because the 24-second shot clock was about to go off, and here in the prep school circuit, they Ooh. have a shot clock. Nice. What a move! Levi Smith the third Beautiful. on a crossover, and he's able to put it up off the glass. Levi the third, baby. Beautiful move. Beautiful. Looking like Chris Paul on that one. Wow. 
Here's Jogo from the elbow. Three-point attempt, there did not go. drop. BTB playing with a whole lot of ferve here in the last couple of moments. The three, the putback, and we've got a foul on the play. Hitting the boards, hitting the boards. I just love what they're doing, Dana. They're getting their offense off their defense. They're coming down and they're making very good decisions. Nice play again as we take a look at Levi Smith the third on that drive. And when you penetrate aggressively, Dana, like we said earlier, it just opens things up, man. And the type of defense they're playing, that 1-3-1, one, one, really suits them because they've, they've got speed. That's one of the things that size gives up is speed. Here's Jogo as they work the ball over the timeline. Looking for the pass across court. Jesse Barnes with the ball. Outside, Dante Mitchell. Inside, Luke 12. Jogo, and he's able to nail it in the paint. Well, that time there we had three defenders and one player in the corner. Uh, BTB getting a little over anxious there, but. Uh, Outside, here's Muhammad. That was a three-point attempt. Levi Smith, the third. And we got the ball going out of bounds. BTB will have possession of the ball with 34 seconds left. BTB's uh, enthusiasm and the tenacity that they've come out with, Dana, has really turned this thing around. They're looking very confident right now and doing a very good job. They can have any shot they want. Looking to set up Muhammad on the shot. That was a three-point attempt. Did not drop. On a fake, high off the glass, Dante Mitchell. Just sticking with it. On the creating some opportunities Jesse for Jesse Burns. And we got a foul on the play, Gary. Jesse doing exactly what he, a guy like him should do, which is uh, go hard to the hoop. He's got good size. Got himself a rebound and took it hard to the to the basket as opposed to settling for the jump shot. Good job. It gets him to the free throw line, stops the momentum. 13 seconds uh, left here in the half. Burns at the line. Give us a good look at Jerome Santiago, a six-foot guard out of Surrey, BC, checking into the lineup. And Barnes misses on the first of two. This athlete uh, institute team, Dana, is from all over Canada. Certainly and the an US. international flavor uh, oh, there yes. as well with the uh, Maker brothers in the lineup. Right, representing Sudan, Australia, and the U.S. Levi Smith, the third, puts it up high off the glass. Here's Jogo. Jumper from outside. And Burns looking to hit that one before the buzzer goes off to win the half with the score 47-41 in favor of Athlete Institute. We've got a great one here tonight, Dana. Both teams very uh, intense. Love how they're sharing the ball and uh, just looking for each other. It's beautiful. Certainly the storyline, uh, as we come to the half, the fact that BTB was able to bring it back within reach. They've been down 15 points. We're going to take a break in the action, come back with halftime. You're watching the Ontario Scholastic Basketball Association here on Rogers TV. We'll be back right after this. And welcome back as we're at the half. A six point difference between Athlete Institute and BTB Academy. And Gary, this is ramping up to be just like it was back in November, a two point victory for AI at that time. But we know this is gonna be a very tight matchup all the way through the game. Oh yeah, we, we knew that uh, BTB is a very resilient team that uh, no matter how much, how far they're down, they're very confident and they always feel that they can come back. And don't forget, this is all without um, Ali having the, his best game ever, so. Yeah, missing a player in the lineup for Athlete Institute as well, a mature maker, 6'10 forward, whose uh, brother is in the lineup as the starting center in Thon. Looking at uh, 
the difference maker so far has been the passing of a athlete institute they're willing to share the ball oh, yes uh, very unselfish team and it's great to see because you know they, they got an all-star team out there pretty much and their success is determined by the willingness to share the ball so it's beautiful to see they've got a glue guy in there in uh, uh, Scott um, who really holds it together he's the one guy out there the Ethan Scott who's really just not looking for his shot he's trying to make others better both offensively and defensively a real leader the ball handling ability of uh, both schools very very strong not afraid to look to the guards we're going to take a break in the action come back with the second half you're watching the Ontario Scholastic Association here on Rogers TV we'll be back right after this <laughs> 